Sports Zone starts now. We had more live reps this year than we have had in any fall camp. We had more periods in in our 17 practices than we had in the previous fall camp. We had more reps this year than we had in the previous fall camp. Did you notice the difference? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Well, the goal was to make this camp the most difficult these Tiger players have ever seen. I'd say head coach Eli Drinkwood's accomplished that feat as he wrapped up the 2024 edition of fall camp today. You heard him say it. More reps, more periods, more padded practices, more grind. That is what it's going to take to follow up the best season. Head coach Eli Drinkwood has seen in his time here in Como. But last year is last year, and now fall camp is fall camp. The focus shifts to preparations for Murray State in the coming weeks here. There's a lot of expectations on this group, especially on one of the top returning offenses in the league. QB1 is taking on a lot this year as Brady Cook is entering, if you can believe it, his final season in Columbia. He says that pressure and responsibility is exactly why he loves being a quarterback on a top 11 team. You know, you touch the ball every play, you control the game, you control the speed of the game, um, you control where the ball goes. Um, and, you know, that, that's kind of what I love about football. It's what I love about quarterback. So now being in this position, you know, all of that has just been amplified. You know, my responsibility um, has been amplified, and, you know, I love it. I'm leaning into it. Um, you know, the leadership aspect's been really cool. I can see how, you know, the new class of freshmen and, uh, you know, the younger sophomores, you know, they really look up to me. Um, and, you know, I remember that same feeling. So uh, it's really cool. I'm leaning into it. Well, not only is the Mizzou football team looking to follow up an 11-win season, they are also looking to extend the sellout streak to six games, starting with the season opener next week. Next Thursday's game is pretty close to selling out, but this is the big part. It hasn't yet. Coach Eli had a pretty passionate message for fans today. We need to sell out this first game. All right, we're a top 11 program in the country coming off a Cotton Bowl win, and in my opinion, if we don't sell out the first game, then – that shows me that we're not where we want to be as a fan base yet. Okay, I mean that's just the reality of it. Don't don't sit on the sideline and wait. Well, it's got to be this game. No, you, no, it doesn't. Come watch this team and be excited about this team and embrace this team.